Hi, everybody. This is Alvin Tran. I'm an assistant professor of public health at the University of New Haven in West Haven, Connecticut, also serving as the assistant provost for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Hope you all are having a good summer. And I guess I just got back from a jog and I noticed that while I was checking my phone, a lot of students are starting to request letters of recommendation for doctoral programs in public health because we are maybe a few weeks away at this point from the start of the next wave of applications. So I thought, okay, let's create some sort of video that provides uh, some assistance and resources and tips and tricks on what I think from my perspective, having gone through the process now, being on the other side, reviewing applications for our doctoral program and what I think are do's and don'ts. I think this is a great time now that it's summer. Many of you are not taking classes. Maybe you are. Uh, that said, uh, research the programs that you are interested in. We'll go back as into why you're thinking about a PhD program in a little bit, but use this summer time to look into the programs that you're interested in. I think a lot of students are saying, oh, I think uh, I think I want to pursue a doctorate in epidemiology, but uh, they're, they don't realize that the field of public health is very diverse in terms of disciplines. We have behavioral sciences, we have public health nutrition, we have environmental health sciences, maternal and child health, the list goes on and on. So before you come to me and say, I want to apply for a PhD in epidemiology, uh, hopefully you actually have looked into the other programs as well, because those other disciplines might be more of a better fit for you. So that's just my first word of advice, because I had a student recently who's like, oh, I think I want to do epidemiology. And the student has never taken a class in epidemiology. So I was like, oh, well, let, look in after take an epidemiology class first and come back and let me know what your thoughts are, because there are other disciplines, as I said earlier, that you might be more interested in. Uh, I forgot to mention even global health. Uh, looking into this year, we're still in a global pandemic, right? We're 2001. A lot of schools of public health, including some of the uh, top schools as ranked by U.S. News and World Report have waived their GRE requirements. So for those who are not the best standardized test takers and are afraid of the GRE, now is probably the time to think about putting an application together. That is one suggestion that I put out there for some of my students who have very high GPAs, who are doing say a master of public health program or a master of health administration and are thinking, you know, I think I might wanna do that doctorate. I've got some research under my belt. I've got some work experience. I don't have to stress about studying for the GRE and then taking the GRE. I think I can put a good application together. I think, you know, I think that's a good strategy, especially for those, as I said earlier, who aren't as strong in taking standardized tests. Now's the time to probably put a very strong application together and see what happens. Uh, we had a student recently who got into UC Berkeley's Doctor of Public Health program and he didn't have to submit a, a GRE score. So with that said, I think those are the two main items. I think we can always go back to, 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 to thinking about, you know, uh, asking yourself why you want to do a doctor in the first place. I hope for, for those who are considering it, that you thought this through, it is a big commitment. I did my doctorate. I think I entered my doctoral program at the Harvard School of Public Health back in 2013. And it is a very big commitment. It's at least four, some, some people can get out earlier. Some people can spend five, six years in their doctoral program. So, so make sure that you are fully aware of, of, of what some of the expectations are, usually two to three years of coursework, and then you're diving into your dissertation. Uh, and it's, it's a big commitment. So definitely do some background research into that and see if the, doc, of the, if the PhD is the right program for you. So with that said, I do think that there, there will be follow-up videos. Send me some questions in the comment section. If, if, you will, if you have more questions for me, I'm always happy to answer them. So have a good day, everybody.